Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a beautiful Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent demonstrator in the United States. Today is a special video. It is part of the Totally Techniques design team blog hop and we are using the brand new masking paper that Stampin' Up! has in the annual catalog. Lots and lots of fun things you can do with this paper. I'm gonna show you some very basic, simple ideas. And I'm excited to be using the Wonderful World stamp set and Wonderful World designer series paper. This is part of our celebration promotion that lasts until the end of August. With a $100 order, you get both of these for free. So let's flip this camera around and we'll get started. I'm going to start with some circle dies. So I decided to bring out the Stylish Shapes circle dies. I'm gonna be using the smallest circle from this pack. And then my layering circle dies, I'm using the next, the two smallest circles out of this one. And here are my circles. I just wanted a good um, variety of sizes here. And then we're going to take out a sheet of our masking paper. Now this is five by seven. It's really nice. And like I said, you get 12 sheets in there. And we are going to, we're going to, this is the side where the backing peels off. So you're gonna turn that over. This is the side that we're gonna die cut on. I'm gonna put my largest circle kind of right here my smallest circle pretty close to it and then my medium sized circle is going to go right here and I'm going to die cut these hang tight I'll be right back now once we get these die cut you're going to have some circles right let's keep these I'm going to actually you can use these for other masking techniques we're going to use the negative that's left over for the technique I'm doing today and I'm just gonna pop these back in here. You can see I've cut other circles. I can use these in the future. So let's set these aside. Now, one thing that you wanna do is I have found that once you peel off the backing, and I like that it's split in the middle so you can get it off easily, this is your sticky masking part. This is just like a post-it note. And I like to take a little bit of the sticky off of here. So I will Put it down um, lots of times I'll do it on my clothing but obviously for video purposes that's kind of tricky <laughs> for me to like get my clothing in here but I just like to kind of take a little bit of this off and you can see I've got the end here is kind of like bent over that just helps me remove it when I need to and I'm just gonna take a little sticky off I'm gonna bring in my cardstock layers here I'm gonna be using a medium-sized basic white envelope. I've got thick basic white for my card base. This is four and a quarter by 11, and we are going to burnish that edge good with our bone folder. Then I've got a piece of Bermuda Bay that's three and three quarters by five, and a basic white that is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. There's going to be a free downloadable project sheet on my blog. My blog is right here. At the end of this video, you are going to click on a link that's gonna be up here in the corner. That's gonna take you right to my blog where you can find the free download. You can print this out. It has pictures, it has all the instructions, dimensions, colors, all the ingredients that I use to make these cards today. So it's pretty sweet. You can save it to your device or you can print it out and put it into a binder of all kinds of great stamping ideas. Okay, this is gonna be the layer that we're going to do our masking and blending on. I am using Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, and Daffodil Delight for my colors today. So we're gonna get this Daffodil Delight out. I am going to take my mask and I'm going to start it right up here in the corner, and I want this to be rather random looking. So I'm going to just mask that down right here. Here comes my daffodil, and when I use, hang on just a second, when I use um, blending brushes, I like to kind of dissipate the ink off of them a little bit. Now, my, my layer here of masking paper is a lot bigger than my cardstock layer, and the reason is, 
I don't want to have to worry about staying away from this edge where I'll get ink on my card front layer, right? I need a lot of space around here to be able to be successful in not doing that. <laughs> it's a good way to put it. So I like to kind of do this, and then I'm gonna come in like this, and this is the Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of that third circle. And of course, you can make this as dark or any color that you would like. Now I'm gonna get this ink off of here, and we're going to go with the Granny Apple Green. And again, I'm gonna kind of come in and blot some of that off. And now we're gonna pull up our masking paper. And we're gonna move this. And you wanna be gentle with this, because like I said, it is like a big post-it note, but you don't want to rip your cardstock. And if you're using Stampin' Up! Basic White Cardstock, you should have no issues with that. Just know that our cardstock is very high quality. And if you are working with a lesser quality cardstock, mm, I don't know, might be a problem. Okay, then I'm gonna come up here and we're gonna do this again. And I'm just gonna stick that on there, make sure that's stuck down good. You don't need to push all of this down, right? Just the circles. I am going to do another with the Granny Apple Green. And again, I'm kind of dissipating my color here before I come in on my circle. Maybe I'll get a little bit of that small circle right here with the green. Now we're gonna switch colors again. I have Bermuda Bay, so I'm gonna get rid of my granny apple. And now we're gonna come in and again, see the globs, you wanna get rid of that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so pretty, you guys. I'm excited to share it with you. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, I was supposed to use Coastal Cabana there. So we're gonna use the Coastal Cabana down a little lower. And we're gonna move this again. Now, where you've got your circles die cut, of course, you wanna be careful when you're pulling your masking paper off because that's delicate in there around the die cuts. So just take your time when you're getting this off. Oh, look how pretty that is. I'm so excited. Okay, next I am going to do, I think I'll do one more right here with the, I was supposed to use Coastal Cabana um, instead of Bermuda Bay last time, but this is gonna be just fine. This is gonna look beautiful. Mm, so pretty. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, very, very pretty. Now I could have made these darker. It doesn't look that different, but you'll get the hang of it. This is just such a pretty technique. Okay. Next thing I wanna do, I have these two half inch white strips. And what I thought would be kind of neat is to give them this color, this kind of um, ombre color too. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hold these together and you'll see in a minute why I'm doing two of them. This is gonna be decorate up the inside of our card just a little bit. So there's our yellow. Here comes our granny. A little bit of granny. Then we're gonna do our coastal because we're gonna get it in the right order this time. And then a little bit of our Bermuda. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that nice? Okay, move these out of the way. We're gonna put our card together. Now, my idea that I had for the inside of my card is to take this three quarter inch strip and add a little bit of the blended white strip in the center here. Because I always like to decorate the insides of my cards. I just firmly believe that the party should not end when you open a card. There should be more. You should be more, um, more pretty inside. So this is gonna be my inside. that in here like this. Trim this off the back. 
Isn't that pretty? Okay, here comes our front. Add this. And this is just a smidge smaller, this white layer. So it just lets that Bermuda pop out of there just a little bit. I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. Oh, I hear some little people voices downstairs. I think that my granddaughter, Andy, is here. She asked if she could bring some friends over swimming today, and I said, absolutely. It's a beautiful day for it. Val and I spent a lot of time in the pool yesterday. It was so fun. Hang on, let me get this burnished a little bit better. It was just me and her. Oh my gosh, she's getting so brave. She'll go in the pool all the way up to her neck. And for those of you that are new, Val is my granddaughter. She just turned two at the end of April. And oh, it just sits the best ever. <laughs> okay, look how pretty that is. Now, I needed to decide what I was going to do with this card. So, I brought in the Meadow dies. These are a favorite set of my dies. I love them because they're great for silhouettes. And I took this one. Oh, here's this one. This one this one and then my butterflies there's two butterflies in here a half a butterfly and a whole butterfly i took these and i die cut them on black cardstock so let's grab those right here look at how cool these are all kinds of goodies here here's our big butterfly here's our half a butterfly here's another little sprig. I cut out two of this one. Oops, I didn't mean to do that for good grief. Oh, I hear somebody ringing the doorbell. Somebody will get that. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, then I needed a sentiment. And since the other card that I'm making, we're going to, whoops, the other card that I'm making, we are going to be using the wonderful world stamp set. This is part of our celebration promotion where you get a hundred dollars in free product or a hundred with a hundred dollar order. You can get this designer paper pack and also this stamp set for free that lasts until the end of August. And that hundred dollars is U S prices. So if you're not in the United States, you need to check with the demonstrator in your location. Now, I wanted to also let you know that Quiet Meadow is the stamp set that goes along with the Meadow dies, which are the dies I use right here. And I love to make up these little templates that show all the different elements in a pack of dies. So we've got the label and we're going to be using that. Okay, next up, we needed a sentiment. I really like this Inspired Thoughts stamp set. I've got sending healing thoughts your way. And um, I really thought that was a good one because I thought this would make a pretty get well card. And also I like the congratulations. I need a lot of those cards. I send out cards to my team for various things that they accomplish. And I love to have a lot of those on hand. So for this particular card, I think I'm gonna go with the congratulations. And I already stamped it and die cut it with the banner from the Stylish Shapes. Now I'm going to be showing you another card. And with that card, I'm going to use healing, sending healing thoughts your way with the label from the Quiet Meadow or the Meadow Dies. So we've got a couple, a couple different things going on in here. Okay, let's figure out how we're going to put these silhouettes on our card. And I am thinking... Gonna go, I'm gonna trim this off just a little bit because it's kind of long for what I'm doing here. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Do you love it? I love it. Do I wanna do just another little sprig like that? Do I wanna bring this flower in here? I don't wanna get too much going on. I think I like that. What do you guys think of that? Or should we just stay with the spriggy things? Maybe we'll just stay with the spriggy things. I think I'll just stay with the spriggy things. I'm gonna cut this off because it's a little bit long. We're gonna add some dots of glue to the back. This would have been the perfect time for me to use my adhesive sheets on the back of these <laughs> so that you turn them into a sticker. That's another really neat little um, tool 
just like the masking paper that we're using for our technique spotlight today. Okay, so that's pretty. Do I wanna do this? Nope, I think that's a little bit too much. I wanna keep this kind of simple, crisp. I thought it might work, but I wasn't sure because I haven't actually put this card together yet. Sometimes I do that. I just kind of go on a whim and it's like, well, we'll see what happens. And sometimes I get to do my videos over. <laughs> sometimes that's not very successful. <laughs> okay, I think one of these butterflies would look really pretty on here. And I'm gonna do the half a butterfly. But before I put it on, where did my, I wanna use a little bit of Wink Stella. This is just black cardstock, but this Wink Stella is gonna be really cool. And for that matter, I could have used it on these black sprigs too, the silhouettes. It just kind of really um, dresses it up a little bit. Isn't that cool? I love it. And I think I'll put that on a dimensional. So we'll do one little, these are our black dimensionals. We've got one mini and two minis. They come with miniatures and full size. I'm gonna put my little butterfly, whoops, right there. Oh, love it. Now, uh, let's do this. This one we decided was going to be our get well. I'm gonna do this and this. I'm gonna set this, how about right in here? Oh, what do you guys think? Is that not the coolest? It's a really neat technique, and of course you can use any colors that you want. Uh, the other thing that I needed to do was put a little bit of embellishments on here. So I'm gonna go with the Rhinestone Basic Jewels. These are my favorite, favorite embellishment. And I love how they kind of pick up the color of whatever you're using with them. The colors you use with them, they kind of pick it up. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Love it, love it. Okay, now what are we gonna do for our envelope? Well, I do like to decorate my envelopes and that's where the Wonderful World stamp set is gonna come in because I think, let's see. Um, here we go. I'm gonna use this on here. I think the spiky goes along with the silhouettes over here. And I'm going to do Bermuda Bay. And I'm just going to stamp this floral image right down here. Ah, oh, look how pretty that is. What do you guys think? Okay, now I have another masking technique. It's not gonna take me as long to make this card because I have some of it done already. So we'll use that butterfly. Here's our banner for the other card. I'm gonna grab another piece of our masking paper. And then I'll have two finished cards. Let's see, we're gonna do, there we go. We got the opening right there. Let's set this aside. I've got all the same layers here. And this is Granny Apple Green, so I'm gonna put this on the inside just like I did the other card. Okay, that's the inside of our card. Then here comes our Granny Apple Green layer. These are the same size. These layers are the same size as the card that we just made. There we go, make sure the backs are off on all of these. And I'm gonna center this right on the front. Okay. Then we're going to take our masking paper with this layer right here. And I'm gonna just take one side off, and again, I'm going to take off a little bit of the sticky. There we go. And then I wanna do, I'm gonna come in 
Oh, let's do this. We're gonna cut this with the scissors. I'm gonna cut. And you can put this in your paper cutter too, but I wouldn't put it in my paper cutter after I have the backing off of it. So this side doesn't really matter, but I wanna use this straight edge right here. And I am going to bring this in. Just like that. And then we're gonna take this other one and get some of the sticky off of it and do the same thing. We're gonna bring this one in and I can see through this paper to a certain extent to see how far I'm going with this. I'm not trying to center this, I actually want it to be offset. I just held it up to the light to make sure that it looks straight on there for me. And now we are ready to do our technique and we're gonna do the same thing that we did. Let me see, I need to make sure my blush brush is clean because I wanna use yellow first. And I'm just getting that color off by blending it on here. Okay, here comes our Daffodil Delight. Oh, see, it's kind of picking up a little bit of the green too. So that's gonna be a, look a little bit different than yours might. Now we're gonna go with Granny Apple Green. Then we're gonna do it the, <laughs> the way I intended, which is, oh, that's Bermuda Bay. Let's get rid of that. We almost didn't do it the way I intended. I wanna go with the lightest color coming in next, which is the Coastal. And then we're gonna go with our Bermuda Bay. Okay, moment of truth. Here it comes, you guys. Look at how crisp that is. This is, oh, and then I got my hair in there. Don't mind that, that's a constant for me. And there we go. Now we have this really cool strip. And what I planned on doing with that is bringing in my Stamparatus. I'm gonna clean this flower stamp off from the wonderful world. And I'm going to put this in my Stamparatus. I wanna stamp this flower in black on here and I need it to be very, very crisp black. So I'm gonna lay this on here. Oh, by the way, this is, oh, let's get this out of here. This is a small grid paper. I love these. They fit in our Stamparatus perfectly. So I, I like to use that on the background, even though I'm not gonna have anything being stamped, you know, that might get on to my platform. I still like to have this in here. It's a, it's a really nice way to keep things clean. Clean and crisp. Okay, so I'm just going to put my layer on here. I'm kind of lining it up with my grid paper just in case this cardstock moves, I can put it back in place. Now, my stamps are sticky. And so I'm going to pick up my stamp now. It should be in perfect placement. I'm gonna grab my Memento ink. And like I said, I want this to be super crisp and that's not really that crisp. So by using my Stamparatus, I can continue to stamp this as many times as I want to get it as crisp and black and dark as I need it with perfect precision. And I think we're looking really good there. Okay, now this card is just about finished. Hope I don't get any ink on it. Let's wash my fingers off because I see that. I do have some ink on my hands and that would be like, oh, not at this point, we don't wanna wreck things, right? Let me set this aside. I already had this congratulations cut out with the smallest banner from the Stylish Shapes. I'm looking for my dimensionals. I'm just gonna grab another pack here because I don't know what I, I, they're here someplace, we just used them. I was looking for the regular white sized ones. 
who knows what happened to them, right? Okay, we are going to pop this onto our card front right here. And like I said, this is gonna be a fabulous card to give to one of my team members. And I love, love sending them cards for their accomplishments, which reminds me, during your celebration promotion, you get a beautiful, um, gorgeous planner, absolutely free when you join my team, whether you wanna build a business or be a discount shopper. Oh, it's all so much fun. But you'll never, ever regret coming on board. I do a lot of things for my team members. We have so much fun. And it's probably the best gift you could ever give yourself as a stamper. So if you need more information about that, again, on my blog in the link at the end, you're going to find all kinds of details about joining before the end of August. That's when you get that free, um, oh look, here's my banner I searched for and had to make a new one. <laughs> um, all kinds of information in my blog about that. Now, we need to stamp our flower again which is in our Stamparatus. I'm like, where did that flower go? So I'm going to put my envelope in here and let's see where we want it. I'm just gonna kind of line it up like this. This is the nice thing about the Stamparatus. You can just continue to use that. And I think I'll go with the black on this one. Maybe I'll try something kind of cool here. Um, I'll leave this rather light. I'm going to grab my chamois and clean this off. And then maybe we'll offset it a little bit and do a bit of a color. Let's try the granny apple green because that's the color of the layer I've got on my card. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to, man, I want to keep it kind of in the same place. I just moved it a little bit. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get a new envelope out. Oh, that's horrible. Look how ugly that is. Good grief. I am batting a thousand today. <laughs> Hang on, we'll try that again. I think we'll end up just leaving it black. What do you guys think? I didn't clean my stamp again because I'm just stamping black in here and that certainly won't hurt anything. There we go, look at that. Okay, let's take a look at both of these cards. Before I bring those cards out, the one thing that I did wanna do is add a little bit of wink to this butterfly and we'll see if this is something we wanna put on the front of this card. This is the full size butterfly from the Meadow Dyes. Let's see. Mm, look at that pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, do we want to put, oh yes. Oh, definitely. Do you guys love that? I think that's very cool looking. Let me find my little black dimensionals. Like I said, when you order the black ones, you get regular size and minis, which is so convenient. I wish they did that with our other dimensionals, but I don't know, maybe not. I use, I don't know which ones I use more of. So I'm just gonna kind of put that right in here. Look at how pretty that is. Here comes our envelope. Let me clear my desk off so we can make a nice little presentation here. Here's our other one. We use circles for our masking. This is our Stampin' Up! masking paper. It's a fabulous product. It's like having giant post-it notes. So for those of you that would love to try this masking, I highly recommend this. Don't forget this is part of a blog hop. You can click right up here in this top right corner. That's gonna take you right to my blog where you're not only gonna find a free download, all the ingredients, dimensions, colors that I've used for these projects with photos and a, a rerun of this video, but you're also going to find links to join my team. You can get a discount on all your orders. You have to be in the United States to order from me or to join my team. And please know I always appreciate both. Your orders are greatly appreciated. If you need the current catalogs, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm happy to send them to you. 
Our celebration promotion is going on right now until the end of August 2022. And everything in here is free. Here's the Wonderful World stamp set and designer series paper that you get. I don't think I went through this paper with you to show it to you, but oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. So pretty. I just absolutely love it. You get the stamp set and the paper when your order reaches $100 between now and the end of August or while supplies last. So get yourself a free stamp set, some matching designer series paper for free. Stock up on your card stock. Order the stylish shapes dies, the meadow dies. Um, all of this stuff is just so much fun. Don't forget to put some masking paper on your order. It's the best time to get free stuff and who doesn't love free? Head over here to go on the blog hop. You're gonna find a link so you can see what everybody else made on the design team with a masking paper. This will give you a good um, idea of all different ways to use it. Don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming up. Lots of fun ideas on their way. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day today to spend it with me. Have a good one. Bye-bye.